Welcome, Denise. We're so excited to have you back for our community day for afternoon stretching. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. All right. Um, so we'll get started. Uh, just um, a quick note, if at any time any of the exercises or like the stretches are uh, a little difficult to do, no worries. I will either offer modifications, um, but for some of them that don't have modifications, feel free to just skip those um, specific stretches and um, just join back in uh, when we move on. Uh, just remember to listen to your body and not to push or strain anything. We want to be safe. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to start with a couple deep breaths just to kind of settle into our body and kind of tune into that mind-body connection. So you can close your eyes. Just try to sit up as tall as you can. Imagine a string is attached at the crown of your head and someone's just pulling you up, really letting you lengthen in your spine here. Roll those shoulders back and down. Widen those collarbones. Good. Just start to breathe, taking nice deep breaths in through the nose and nice exhales out through the mouth. Thank you. Drawing out those inhales and exhales, taking your time here, deepening that breath, really expanding into the rib cage, into your lungs. Try to take this time to really settle into your body. We're all seated on a chair, so maybe try and allow yourself to feel grounded into your chair. Feel stable, but at the same time, light. And with every exhale, let your body just relax and just grow a little bit more heavy. Two more breaths here on your own. Last one. Really nice. You can gently blink your eyes open. From here, let's just do a couple um, uh, neck rolls just to get the neck loosened up. So just take this time to just kind of lower your head down and then just lift it back up. And then we're gonna go back and forward, good. These movements can be really tiny. We just wanna kind of get those tendons and muscles in our neck loosened up. You don't have to go too far back or too far down. Just go as far as your neck will allow. Last one. Good. We're gonna go side to side, same thing. Side up and side. Really nice, just taking your time here, feeling the gentle stretches on the sides of your neck. Good, let's return. And we're gonna hold on this next one. So whichever side you land on, just stay here, kind of hang out here. If you wanna deepen the stretch, what you can do is take um, one hand and just gently let the hand weight down on your head. Try not to push your head down, that'll strain um, the neck, uh, the tendon and the muscles. You just want to let the weight of your hand gently deepen that stretch. And remember to breathe, connecting the breath with these stretches to really allow your muscles and tendons to soften and lengthen. And slowly release. Let's go to the other side. Let that head just drop down. You can take your hand, place it on top of your head and weight it down. Feeling that nice stretch along the side of your neck. Good. Try not to round your shoulders forward or pipe your shoulders up towards your ears. Really relax those shoulders away, keeping the collarbones wide. Good. And just breathe. And slowly come back up to center. Good. Let's just go into a couple neck rolls here. So drop that head down. Bring it up to one shoulder, up and around, all the way back down to center. Good. Just continue to go in one direction. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. 
fit. And remember, these neck circles can be small or big. It's uh, dependent on your body, so make sure to listen and try not to overdo or strain anything. Just take your time here. The goal is to just really loosen out those neck muscles. Good. Just do two more circles at your own pace. And last one, meet me down at the center. Let's reverse. You're going to go up the other way, back and around. Good, good work. Taking your time here. Three, two, and last one. Come back to center. Really nice job. Good. We're just going to do it one last thing for the neck. So we're just going to turn our head to the right, come back to center, turn our head to the left, come back to center. Good. Two more times on each side. One. Good, really nice job. Okay, so moving on, let's go into those shoulders. So let's start with some shoulder rolls, nice and slow. Good, as big as you can go. Really rolling the shoulders back and down, up and forward, back and down. Good, taking your time. Good, nice. Good, last two. And last one, let's reverse directions. Go up and over towards the front, down and back. Good. Taking your time, last three, two, and last one, come back to center, good. We're going to do those shoulder shrugs that we did last time if you were here. So what those are is you're going to shrug your shoulders as high as you can to your ears and then just let your shoulders just drop down really fast. Just let gravity pull them down. Good. So you're going to get some tension in those shoulders. Good. Really nice. And then just drop them down really fast. You should feel that kind of whoosh weight um, come down. And it kind of really helps to just let all that tension go up in our neck and shoulders. Good. So we'll do this two more times. You can shake out those arms, roll out those shoulders one last time. Good. And we're going to start with one arm for our arm circles uh, instead of doing both arms. So first things is first, we're going to do um, arm circles going up, over, and back. Uh, and then we're going to do a, a cool scapula work thing that will actually help open up the shoulders a little bit more, um, which you will notice uh, when we get there. So. Starting first, it, just kind of let your arm hang out to the side. If you have arm rests on your chair, feel free to just kind of hang that arm out a little bit wider out to the side, no problem. Good, nice big inhale to prepare here. You're gonna sweep that arm up towards the ceiling, back and around, good. Spin that palm down and back in towards your body, good. Just taking your time here, going as big as you can, with these arm circles without overdoing it. Really listen to your body and try your best not to let that shoulder really shrug up towards your ear. You want to keep that shoulder nice and down, relaxed. Good. We'll go for two more circles here. And last one. You're going to bring that arm up in line with your shoulder. I'm just going to spin a little bit for you guys to see. Good. From here, what you're going to do is reach your fingertips forward like you're extending for something that's not quite in your reach. You should feel your shoulder blade uh, move away from your spine, Good. going forward as you reach that arm forward. Good. Then you're going to slowly pull your shoulder blade back in, pulling that shoulder back into the shoulder socket. Again, you're going to reach that straight arm forward. Feel the shoulder blade kind of come away from the spine in your back and then bring that arm back into place. Good. Again, reach that fingertips forward, 
You should feel that shoulder blade come away from your spine. And you're going to slowly bring that arm back in towards the face. We'll do this three more times. It's called protraction and retraction of the scapula. You're protracting when you reach that arm forward, then retracting when you bring that arm back. The last one. And come back to center. Good. We're going to do those arm circles again, and you should feel a little bit of a difference in these arm circles. So again, sweep the arm up, back, and around. It should feel much easier to do these arm circles. Your arm circles might even be a little bit bigger. There's definitely less um, effort going into these arm circles when you do those uh, scapula work. Good, really nice. Last circle. Good, and we're just gonna reverse that circle just about three times. So counter, the direction, up and over and down through center. Back up and over, down through center. Good, really nice. Shake out that arm if you need. We're gonna do the other side. So take that arm, we're gonna start with those arm circles first. You're gonna sweep the arm up and over, spinning that palm back and down towards the floor, then back in towards your body. Good. Up and over, back and around. You're taking your time here. Really nice. Remember, go at your own pace and at your own range of motion. Your arm circles may not be as big. They might be smaller and that's okay. We all have different flexibility and ranges of motion. So listen to your body. You've got two. And the last one, we're gonna do that scapular work on this side. So sweep the arm up in line with the shoulder. Good. Again, you're going to take a nice deep breath in. When you reach that fingertips forward, you should really feel that shoulder blade move away from the spine. Then reach that fingertips forward, then bring that arm back. Good. Inhale, reach, lengthening that straight arm even more, then bring that shoulder blade back into place. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it back. Come again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it back. We'll do this three more times. Reach that arm forward, feel that shoulder blade move away from the spine, then feel your shoulder blade slide back into place. Then reach that shoulder blade forward, then bring it back. Last one. And bring it back. Good, really nice job. We'll do those arm circles one last time. Reach that arm up and over, back and down. You should feel a bit of a difference in how easy it is to make those arm circles. It should feel a little less um, tight and tense. Good, last one in this direction. We're just going to reverse direction to counter the movement. Sweeping the arm back, up and over, down through center. Back, up and over, and down through center. Good, really nice. Last one. Good, and shake that arm out. Really nice job. Okay. Let's just stretch those shoulder muscles out really quick. So you're gonna take one arm, it doesn't really matter which one, cross it over your body, then take the other arm and hook that arm into place. What you're going to do is use the hook arm, this arm right here, and just pull it closer towards your chest. Now, some people may not be able to get into this position. What you can do instead is grab your elbow, keeping this arm bent, and just gently pull the elbow in towards your chest. You should still feel a nice stretch along the muscles, but for those who are a little bit more flexible, try to keep that arm straight instead of bent and really hook it in. Good, pulling that arm in towards your chest. Just breathe here. Remember to sit up nice and tall in that spine. And release, good. We're gonna switch sides, cross that opposite arm across your chest, hook it in. And gently pull, you should feel a nice stretch along the upper arm. Good, really nice. And once you're ready, release it out. Good. Shake out those arms one last time. Good. And we're gonna come back to our breathing really quick just to kind of focus on that breath and the roots. Good. So 
and we want to start to activate those core muscles to keep our posture um, strong. So you're going to take your hand, place it on top of your ribs on each side. Good. You can close your eyes here, keep them open, it doesn't really matter. Good. And I want you to start to take a nice deep breath in and just notice how your fingertips will come apart. And then exhale, notice how your fingertips come together as your rib cage kind of collapses in. So a nice big, uh, deep inhale. And exhale. Good. And as you inhale and exhale, continuing at your own pace, as you exhale, I really want you to focus on gently drawing in your belly button. Belly button goes in and up towards the spine. Good. And I want you to kind of feel those abdominal muscles gently contracting to help strengthen that core. And then as you exhale, just let it release. Good. So inhale, exhale, you're going to draw the belly button in and up towards the spine. And then inhale, expand again. And exhale, feel everything kind of tighten. We'll do that two more times. Nice job. Now I want you to keep that core activation in mind as we do these other stretches because we want to focus on maintaining that good posture while we do, um, you know, our leg stretches and things like that. So let's go into our legs, lower body here. I'm going to scoot back just a little bit so you can see. So we're going to start with one foot. Uh, we're just going to start with those ankle circles. So you can just kind of uh, let that foot hang out close to the ground. I'm just lifting it up so you can see. And we're just going to circle that ankle in one direction, getting all those pops and cracks out. Giving you guys room to sit up tall in that spine, remembering the breath work to keep that core gently engaged. Good. And reverse those circles in the ankle. And last one, really nice. Let's just point and flex, point and flex that foot. Good, really nice. Taking your time here, being nice and slow with control. We'll go for three, two, and last one. Good, really nice job. From here, we're just going to take our ankle and set it on top of the uh, left knee. So right ankle goes on top of the left knee. But if you cannot get your leg up to this point, uh, because it is a tight position, feel free to just cross your leg instead um, and just hinge your body forward. You'll be able to get the same stretch this way. But for those who do have um, looser, more flexible uh, hips, Feel free to take that ankle on top of the knee. So you're in like a figure four position here. Good. Flex this top foot to protect the knee joint. And you're just going to fold that body forward. Good. And you should feel a nice stretch right alongside your um, uh, upper hip right here. So that side glute. Good. Really nice. Just breathing here. This is your piriformis stretch. If you want to deepen the stretch, you can push this knee down towards the ground Good. and just fold over even more. This muscle tends to get really tight, so it's important that we really stretch it out. Breathing here, remembering to use that breath. You inhale and exhale to help your body soften and sink a little deeper into that stretch. Ready, come on up. Let's take that leg down and then let's switch sides. We're going to go to the other leg this time again with those ankle circles. You can just circle that ankle in one direction. And last three. And reverse. 
reverse. We're going to ankle in the other direction. Going as slow or as fast as you want, as big or as small with these circles. Just getting some mobility and blood circulation. Good, last two. And one, let's just point and flex. Point and flex. Good, we're gonna take in your time here. We'll go for three, four, two, and last one. Good. Slowly come back to center. Really nice job. Take that leg. We're going to cross it for that figure four stretch again. But you're going to take um, that ankle, place it on top of the knee. Flex that top foot to protect the knee joint. Good. And remember, if you cannot take your ankle all the way up to your knee, you can cross your legs instead and fold over. You should still be able to feel that stretch, but for those who are more flexible, it's going to be harder to feel that stretch in this position, so you want to kind of take that ankle up good, to deepen the um, stretching here. And remember, if you want to deepen it even more, you fold over, bringing your chest closer to your knee, and you can take your hand and gently press that knee down to really deepen that stretch. Remember to breathe, using that exhale to help really soften and to help yourself to sink a little deeper into that stretch. Last breath here. And when you're ready, come on up. Good, really nice job. Take that leg down. Good, you can shake it out if you need. So we're going to stretch those inner thighs a little bit really quick. So what you're gonna do is you're going to um, open the knees up. You can scooch up on your chair if you'd like uh, to give yourself a little bit more room to really open up those knees. Um, from here, you're just going to let yourself kind of uh, twist that body forward. So you're gonna bring one shoulder down, opening your chest up to one side. Good. And this kind of gives you a bit of leverage to really push that thigh back. And it's also a gentle spinal twist in your um, back. Good. And let's switch sides. Center, good. One more time on each side. You really want to use this leverage to push that knee back, which will help deepen that inner thigh stretch, as well as open up those hips. And switch. Slowly come back to center. Good. Really nice job. So what we're going to do here is get into that side body. So um, keeping those legs wide. I want you to reach your arms up nice and high towards the sky. Lengthen that spine. And you're going to take one arm down. Good. And then you're going to just fold up and over into a side bend. This arm here is to help support you. If you can't come all the way down to your forearm, stay on your hand. You can gently press your body up and let your um, opposite hand go, come up and over for that side bend while supporting yourself with the hand or the forearm, whichever one works for you. The forearm will obviously get you a little bit deeper into that side body stretch. So remember to listen to your body and go at your own pace. And remember to breathe. And when you're ready, slowly come back up to center. Let's switch sides. You're going to take that um, hand down to your thigh, hand or forearm. You're going to sweep the opposite arm up and over. Good. Giving yourself that nice side body stretch here. Good. And remember that core work we did with the breathing. Try to keep those ribs gently knit together, belly button pulling up and in. 
so we can check that's fine. Good. And when you're ready, come back to center. We'll do one more on each side. So breathing here, take a nice deep inhale, then exhale. Center, last side. And when you're ready, take your last breath and inhale, come back to center. Good, really nice job. Okay, we can bring those legs back together. And we're going to do a gentle spinal twist here while we have the support of the chair. So you're going to take your right arm up. Gently twist your body towards the left. Good. So right arm comes up. Gently twist your body to the left just a tiny bit. Take your left hand and place it on the edge of the chair or the back of the chair, whichever you can reach. Good. And from here, what you're going to do is inhale to lengthen the spine a little more. Exhale. Use the back of the chair to help pull. Take your right hand down to the left knee and use this um, force to help deepen this spinal twist. So what you wanna feel is feel the back of your right hand press against your left knee. So they're pressing into each other and you're allowing that um, force to help deepen that spinal twist. Left hand is grabbing the back of the chair for support. Good, and you're just gently twisting into that spine. It doesn't have to be a big twist either. Some of us might be here, others might be back here. It's all up to your body, just listen to it and just kind of breathe into the place where you are. Good. You can take your gaze back as well. I'm just not going to because um, my voice, I don't think, would get hurt if I was talking to the wall. Good, really nice breathing here, release it out. Let's switch sides. So take that left arm up, gently twist to the right, just a little bit for now. Take that right hand, grab the back of the chair. Right hand grabs the back of the chair. Left hand is going to come down to that right knee. You inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Good. You can turn your head towards the back, deepening that twist with every exhale. Good. Just getting some gentle rotation in that spine. Breathe in here, continuing to inhale to lengthen, exhale to maybe twist just a little bit deeper. And when you're ready, slowly release it out. Good, really nice job. So we can roll out those uh, wrists. Let's come back to the wrists really quick. So we're just going to roll out those wrists, take your time. Don't forget to go in the other direction. Ready, let's stretch out those um, tendons and muscles. So you're gonna take your um, take one hand, it doesn't matter. Reach your hand forward like there is um, light beams coming out of your hand. You're gonna take the opposite hand and gently pull the fingertips back towards um, your shoulder. You should feel this nice stretch along the underside of your arm. Good. Gently pulling that hand back. And then you're going to flip that hand down so the palm is now facing in towards the body. Take your hand again and gently press. You should feel a nice stretch on the upper part of that wrist. Good. Again, flip it back up. Gently pull. And flip it down. Gently pull. Ready, release it out, shake out that hand. Good. So let's do the other side. So you're going to extend the opposite arm. Take your hand, your other hand, and gently pull the fingertips back towards your shoulder, feeling that nice stretch along the underside of your wrist. And you might notice that one side is tighter than the other. 
that might actually be because we write with one hand or you know we're dominant with one side so things to be aware of and flip that hand down palm faces in towards the body gently pull that hand towards your chest you should feel a light or a nice little stretch up here Release, flip it back up one last time on each uh, in each direction. And last side. Then once you're ready, release it out, shake out that wrist. And we're gonna do those um, fingertip presses to help strengthen the muscles within our hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to press your um, thumb with your pointer finger nice and hard, pads of the fingers together. Then you're going to go point uh, thumb to middle finger, thumb to fourth finger, and thumb to the pinky. It's going to look really weird, but this is to help strengthen those little muscles, fibers within our hand. And this is to help um, prevent arthritis. by strengthening the muscles and weakening them. All right, so you're really firmly pressing those uh, fingertips together, the pads of the fingertips. Right, you can go slower or faster, just make sure you're really intentionally um, pressing those fingertips together and that you're not rushing through it too fast. Right, so take your time, go at your own pace. We'll go for two more steps. Last set. Finishing up that last set um, at your own pace. And when you're ready, you can kind of just shake out those hands. Yeah, do a nice little wiggle out those fingers. When you're ready, really nice job. Um, we are actually going to come up into standing. So if you need to take a bit of time to get up, no worries. Take your time here. Um, we're going to finish off with some standing work. So uh, if you cannot stand, feel free to just kind of skip this part of the stretch. Um, it's not anything really intense. We're going to be using the chair as support. Um, so if you can stand up, uh, try to join me. If not, like I said, um, you can stay seated. Okay, so first things first, um, take your time getting up and just join me whenever you're ready. You're gonna take one leg back. Um, your stance can be as wide or as narrow as your body allows. Listen to your body here. I'm good right here in this kind of mid um, wide stance. You're gonna keep, let's see if I can angle it a little bit lower so I can show you my feet. What you're going to do is keep that bottom heel down for now. And you want to feel this nice stretch in that hip flexor. So your hip flexor is right here, right in front of um, your pelvic bone. And it should be this nice, tight little stretch that you feel as you go into this lunge position. And remember to try and keep that spine nice and straight. Remember the breath work we did to keep that core engaged. We want to protect that lower back. So remember, navel goes to spine. Good. And try your best to keep that back leg as straight as possible. Good. It'll help to, it'll help to um, really deepen that stretch right here in your hip flexor. Good. And if you want to deepen that stretch, you can always uh, shuffle that foot back even further. Good. And try your best to stay up nice and tall in that spine. Breathing here, last two breaths. And last breath. Good, really nice. Slowly lift that heel up, drag that foot in. What we're going to do is keeping your legs um, where they are, you're just going to uh, let yourself sit back. You can always hop that leg in closer or further back. Find a spot that's good for you. But you want to keep that 
front leg straight this time. Kind of sit yourself back into like an invisible chair. You should feel a nice stretch along the back side of your um, front leg. Your calf, Achilles, and um, hamstring are feeling this nice little stretch here. Nice, breathing here for three more breaths. And then last one, come back up to standing, breath feels nice. Let's switch sides. You're gonna take that opposite leg forward this time. One leg goes back. And you're going to bend that front knee, keeping the back leg straight. You should feel that nice hip flexor stretch again. All right, take a nice deep breath. Remember, if you want to deepen this stretch, you walk that back foot even further back. But if you want to maybe modify and lessen the intensity of the stretch, you're free to bring that leg in closer. Breathing. While you feel that nice stretch along the hip flexor, you might even feel a stretch in your back calf if your calves are tight. So keep that in mind and be careful. You don't want to overstretch the calf muscle or the tendon. Last three breaths. Last breath here. And slowly, gently drag that leg in just a little bit. Again, we're going to um, straighten the front leg this time. You're going to gently bend into that back leg. Keep that front leg straight. You should feel a nice stretch along the back side of that front leg. You want to flex the toes up towards your nose to deepen that stretch and the calf, Achilles tendon, and hamstring. Remember to breathe, take nice deep breaths here. Good, last two breaths. And last one. Slowly come back up to center, do a really nice job. Let's just grab onto the back of your chair. Walk your legs back, keeping them nice and straight. And you're just going to push your hips back into a nice L position for your puppy stretch. This is called a puppy pose. And then just let your head drop between the arms. This will help to really open the shoulders up. Good. Remember to, to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Just feel a nice breathing here. And watch those ribs. Your ribs will have a tendency to flare out towards the floor. I want you to gently pull them in, knit them together. Good. Breathing here, really opening up that front body. And when you're ready, slowly roll yourself back up. Walk yourself close to your chair and come up to standing good really nice we're gonna do a quad stretch to uh, finish this out um, but for uh, some people it might be really difficult to reach behind you for your ankle so this is where a strap might come in handy a strap or a towel if you have one nearby if not feel free to set this one out um, you can always try and reach for the foot uh, for those who have tight quads, but it might be difficult, but if you can even reach your um, big toe or pinky toe or the edge of your foot, that's okay. Um, just try it, and if it doesn't seem to work, feel free to sit it out. Okay, so what you're going to do is grab the um, top of the foot or the ankle or the shin of one leg and use the chair to help you stabilize because you're standing on one leg here, so it's a little bit of a balance challenge. But you should feel this nice stretch in your quad muscle. Good. 
breathing here. For those who are more flexible, if this quad stretch is all um, is barely giving you anything, it's not intense enough, feel free to flex your foot. So then you deepen this tightness, or, or you deepen the intensity of the quad stretch when you flex that foot. You're pulling the heel towards your sits bones. And when you're ready, release it out, shake out that leg if you need, and let's switch sides. You're gonna take the opposite foot and bring it up, sending the heel to your sits bones. Okay, remember to deepen the stretch, you can flex the foot. Really nice breathing room for that muscle, allowing your exhale to help soften and release the tightness a little bit more. ready, release it out. Good. And since we're standing here, um, if you want to spin that chair around so it's within your, um, the seat of the chair is within your grasp, we're going to finish out with a forward fold. Uh, for those who can't reach the floor, this is where the chair comes in um, really handy because you can stop your body right here. First, you're gonna take an inhale and just sweep the arms out and up, reaching for the sky. Out and up, reach for the sky. And then you're going to exhale, tilt the chin down, slowly roll yourself forward into a forward fold. For those who wanna stop here, you can take your hands onto the edge of the chair, or you can bring your forearm down to make it a little bit deeper. Or for those who don't need the chair at all, you can just let yourself hang towards the floor, letting your hands just gently um, touch the floor here. Good. Remember, go uh, listen to your body. Try not to overdo it. If your back is straining because you're trying to touch the floor, I would like you to either uh, place your hands on the chair or you can take your hands to your knees here. But um, the chair might be a little less um, difficult. Really nice breathing here. And just let that head drop. We want to just release any tension in our neck. Good. So just let that head hang. You can shake your head yes here. Shake your head no. Good. If you can, you can cradle those elbows and start to sway from side to side. Nice and gentle movement to release out the back. When you're ready, release the arms and you can slowly roll yourself up one bone at a time. The head is allowed to come up, roll those shoulders back and down a couple times at the top and you are all set. Thank you so much, Denise. What a wonderful stretching exercise. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, that was excellent. I wish you could do this every week for us. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, Denise. Thank, Thank you. you.